Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex, and guess what guys? Today I have a different series for you guys, and today is a Dead World adventure map. Now this is super cool. As you guys know, you guys like seeing The Walking Dead and all these kind of cool games put together with zombies surviving, a post-apocalyptic world survival, and all those cool things, you know? And I think that's super cool. And I actually came across this actual really cool adventure map that involves a lot of those cool things, you know? Right now we're in actually a room that says start map, so we're gonna enter that very soon. So make sure you guys hit that like button, leave a comment down below what you guys think about this. This is gonna be a very small sh series. It's probably gonna go up to like four episodes, up to five episodes maybe, because there are actual parts to this and there's actually missions you have to accomplish finding a base and there's actually survivors that you got to encounter with that are villagers and you have missions and it's very cool so i'm excited to start it um and i think you guys are gonna like this a lot so let's get into this guys the start map let's do this all right so it looks like we actually started off in this area this is actually kind of interesting oh looks here i have been on the road for months i need to find a place where i can rest for a while this is pretty cool guys just looking at this like the way they designed this map, I have to admit myself, this is pretty cool. This looks really awesome. Uh, let's check out what this is. It's a sharp rock, so it looks like this is a tool that we can use uh, to kill walkers or zombies, I guess. Um, arrows, a bow, and some steak with us. Uh, so let's keep let's keep walking because uh, we don't know what we're going to encounter. So it looks like we've been on the road for a while, and uh, the road has been actually messed with. It looks like it's been... It's been a zombie apocalypse for quite some years maybe here because there's actually trees growing in the middle of the roads. Um, the roads are not even roads anymore. They're just part of nature, which is pretty cool. It's actually taking over the roads, which I think this is what I really like about this, actually. This is actually very neat. I like it a lot, to be honest. This looks awesome. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm curious to see what else there is in this this world of our post-apocalypse adventure. So let's keep going. Oh, looks like there's a base on the side. All right, well, I don't know... I really don't know how this works out. Like, I don't know if there's going to be actually bandits or something like this. But this looks abandoned and such. So, I feel like we should go check out... Oh, look, there's another place right across there. And there are some zombies. Let's go check out what we have to uh, see on this side. Looks like we have ourselves maybe a generator or some sort. or something here. There's a wall. Um, maybe this is a grave. I have no idea what this can be. This is interesting. So, let's keep looking. Let's try and maybe press this button here. Oh, it says here, the generator has provides electricity to your base. If it gets destroyed, your base will fall shortly after. So this is a generator, and that's super cool. Um, I think that's going to be awesome. Um, so I guess we're going to have to run power around here. Looks like we can't get up here. So I, I don't know if this is just more backup generators or something going on. But this is actually really cool. I like I like the theme here. There's a bridge right across over there. But you know what? I want to go check out this place down here because it looks like... There is some type of uh, action going on here. There's walkers, zombies. I keep calling them walkers, but they are they are zombies. So let's keep ourselves a distance here and see what we need. Oh, there's a place could be. Uh, where does this here? This place could be good. Uh, this place. Oh wait, this is like a uh, first person. So it says here, this place could be a good base. Kill all the zombies. All right, so I guess we're gonna kill them with a sharp rock. Um, and I don't know how this is going to work, but hopefully, yeah, it looks like there's plenty of durability on this. So this sharp rock will take us a long way now. There's a lot of zombies in here. I wonder if we can get around on this, on this little vehicle here, maybe get on top or something like that. If there's a ladder, um, looks like there's not, but there is a good amount of zombies around here. So I guess we have to clear this place out, right? That's the mission. Um, and that's what we're going to do in today's episode, I guess, is clearing out this little fortifying ex uh, section and hope we can find ourselves a uh, some type of weapons or tools or gear inside there and see if there's anything useful so let's keep going and clear it out here all right pretty good all right see so far my review on this it's absolutely amazing it looks absolutely cool so a zombie head can be placed on the nether rack so it says it can be placed on the nether rack but we got to find a nether rack i wonder if this bow will do any damage oh that's a sweet kill right there Two hits. Uh, let's not waste it on any other... This guy's a one-hit kill. Uh, let's take out this guy as well. That guy's close to dead. Oh, we're getting hit here. All right, let's clear out this base. This actually reminds me of actual the AMC TV series, which is which is awesome, I think. I think it's really cool. And I'm excited. I wonder if headshots do any damage to it. Oh, we got a carrot. Sweet. Uh, let's keep... Oh, there's another rack, actually. Burn them all, Dan. So that's pretty cool. I guess we're going to put it... Oh, that guy just hit me off. We're probably going to put this on the nether rack because that's what it told us to do with the with the heads. So I'm going to follow their instructions and do my best to keep that from uh, happening. You know what I mean? Keep it from happening. 
I mean, keep it from not happening. <laughs> Alright, let's clean them all out here. Be like Daryl from The Walking Dead here with the bow. So, this is not, it's not really a crossbow, but it still does damage, you know? There we go, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's collect any arrows that we have here. Leftovers, alright, let's keep going. It looks like we cleared most of them except for one of them down over there. So, let's get ourselves the zombie heads, because it says place it on the netherrack. So, I guess we're going to make Dan all happy here and burn them all, make him make his life a little bit better. But I wonder if we have to place them all down here. I don't know if that's the mission here, to place them all down. So I'm just going to place all of them, I guess, and eat up some of the... Actually, eat up a carrot, because I don't know if how much steak I have left going on around here. But uh, so far, this the scenery is amazing. And there's some more more zombies around here, so let's continue clearing this place out here. Oh, this guy's in the way. Alright, we're kind of low on uh, um, hearts here, so let's eat up a little bit. Oh, we got a potato. Sweet. Alright, there we go. Still not enough, so I'll eat one rotten flesh. Hopefully that will give us some type of regen going around here. Let's actually organize this a little better. Put some rotten flesh here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That guy's... They're actually pretty fast, to be honest. They move pretty fast. They're pretty stealthy. Um, I wonder if we have to go through here. This looks like you can't get in here, but let's take a look what's going on over here. Interesting. Can't really see much, but it looks like it is some type of office going on around there. So, let's make our way down around here. Looks like we have to get up there, so... Oh, boy. Yeah, there's more walkers. Or more zombies. Let's clear them out, because uh, that's our mission here. Oh, boy. We're really close to death here. But there's no worries. We can take them out, unless there's more coming from this side. There is one more. Oh, no. We died, actually. All right, don't worry. We're going to respawn, but that, that was actually weird. Um... I think I got stuck in a hole, but whatever, it's fine, no big deal. Let's keep moving on. Pretend that never happened. But let's let's get this place let's get this place checked out. Hopefully they're still around here. Uh, there's a few left. Let's go clear them out because that was our mission. They told us we have to take them out, so we need to make them. Uh, we got we got to get this achievement going on here, right? You know that's the goal. So let's continue clearing them out. There's a lot of them. You know what? There's actually a good amount in here. So I'll be surprised if there's any survivors in here. But uh, it's worth a shot to clean it out and see what's going on around here because, you know, you never know. But you know what's cool? They actually leave all the items that you uh, died with. So, ooh, I guess we got to get up here. This is pretty cool. Some little missions here. Oh, let's get back in here. So, there's more, more walkers in here, more zombies. But it looks like we have to go over here and select the mission to finish off the first mission, which is pretty cool. There's, there's a nice little layout here. So, this is where we're looking in the beginning. So I guess it's like a little lab area. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check out here. So main gate is open. Um, doors are closed. So I guess main gate is open. Is that something they have to click on? Doors are open. Doors are closed. Oh, that is awesome. That is pretty cool. I have to say it myself. All right. So I guess we have to kill all the walkers. I'm not or all the zombies here, so that we can actually get this mission finished. I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but that should be how it is. Alright, there we go. Put the zombie's head in the blood pool. So, blood pool would have to be the netherrack? I believe the netherrack. So, let's go do that right now, actually. Um, and see if that will do anything for us here. So, I guess this is the blood pool. It will only... Oh, God! Whoa, that was actually pretty cool, I gotta admit. So, base acquired, continue. Loading. That is awesome. Three weeks later. Oh, this is so cool, guys. This looks absolutely amazing. This is going to be an awesome little series adventure map. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. But this is this is too cool to be true, guys. This looks amazing. The way they built this map as well. Very cool, very cool stuff. Oh, look. There, there's a villager. Looks like there's actually people here. So this is three weeks later, so maybe someone came in here. So this is Victor. Can we talk to him or do anything with him? Uh, Bedrock. So I guess nothing to do with him. Let's go check out what's here. There's like a medical unit. This is Aaron. Welcome, Aaron. Um, right, let's go check out what's going on around here because there are some new people in here that we never met So we got to go and see what they're up to here like what's going on because we just got here. Oh, good morning This is from Earl Greg. It's your turn to clean the tunnel. Yeah, I know uh, Did you all hear about the shots last night? I think they came from the gas station Damn it. They be the bandits. I'll check the gas station later uh, But first let me go clear out the tunnels reach the tunnel. That's the objective. So Let's go check out what Greg can sell to us so we can get ourselves a foundation. We can get ourselves a shelter for new survivors. Uh, so that's pretty cool. What else? More things. Um, this is an armor, armory blueprint. That's actually pretty cool. So There's some good stuff you can get from here. Anything in this chest here? Oh, yes. We got ourselves a knife. That's going to be useful instead of using the freaking sharp rock. Uh, more food. Good. And I guess some more zombie heads. But uh, I guess we need those. Shears uh, can break flowers. So... 
I guess there's a mission for us to use with the shears. There's got to be something uh, about it. But who's this guy? Earl. What do you have for us here? So this is a wooden wall blueprint. Um, iron wall, uh, iron fence, uh, wall blueprint. So they got some pretty cool things going on here. I guess it's to help out the base and such. And this is Krig. What the heck? I don't even know how to pronounce that name right now. So this is just for more arrows. Um, improvised medicine. Instant health. That's pretty cool. So we got to get ourselves blue orchard. So I guess that's what the shears are for. That's pretty cool. So the main gates, we're going to have to open them. And the doors have to be opened so that we can get ourselves out of here and check out the tunnel. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to explore a little bit more around here. And then we're going to move off to the tunnel for the next episode. Because I want to build some type of um, anticipation and find out what's going to happen next. But it looks like they actually this is where the, the fire burns. So they actually changed it up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. So let's keep looking around here because we never we actually got here before. So let's collect ourselves the um, the little orchards that we need to make these potions, I guess. So let's do that in this episode and, and just get some here. So I guess we collected one. How many would there be around here, actually? I have no idea, but we could probably find a few um, depending on where we look. Hopefully there'll be some nearby this base. We can sell them out quickly and uh, get ourselves some potions, I guess, some instant health, which is going to be kind of... Uh, needed I guess throughout the episode and series and stuff like that. So we have one of them Let's actually store that over there. So let's keep going a little bit Just Check out what tunnel this is for the next episode so we get some ideas here about what it's all about here So the generator seems like it's completely trashed. It doesn't look like it even has a button anymore, but uh, Let's keep walking around these roads. There is a lot of uh, trees around here a lot of cool scenery So I think that's always a cool thing. I like this adventure map 100% so far. This is super thrilling I don't know what you guys think but I think it's awesome. So what's this? What can we get from this? Oh, we can't break this, so it's only the blue ones. Um, but this looks like it's a bridge. And I don't know how exactly we can get on that bridge, because we can't break anything, because it's an adventure map. So I'm guessing we got to still walk around and check out what's going on around here. But this is pretty cool. All right, so there's a log in the middle of the road. Um, oh, we can't even jump it. So wait, can we not get past this log? Oh, there's an orchard here. We'll take it. Uh, why can't we get around this? I guess we need ourselves some type of... Alright, so let's keep looking. There has to be a way around here. Um, and I'll figure that out throughout the next episode, guys, because we're coming to the end of this episode. But I think it was pretty cool. Let's go sneak around here and see if there's anything that we can find um, our way out of here. Because we got to get, I guess, to the bridge. Let's go back to the people and actually find out what the mission was for the next episode so we know exactly what we're looking for. And if I miss any clues, make sure you guys let me know. But I'm pretty sure... We have to go on that bridge and scout out some areas, get some loots. So we're going to have to go find out from the main guy, which is um, not Aaron, but Greg, I think. So let's go check out what they have to say one more time um, and get this mission closed. So we're going to close all the doors, uh, spend the night here, I guess, get ourselves suited for the next mission. That'll be next episode. So Greg, let us know what we have to do again. So let's see. Um, oh, no, they mentioned the mission earlier here. So let's see. It says here, reach the tunnel. Uh, be the first to go to the tunnel. So we actually don't have to go to the bridge We actually have to go to the tunnel, which I have no idea where that is actually So we will find that place in the next episode guys I promise you guys that but let me know what you guys think about this so far This has been pretty awesome. I have to admit, but let's go trade this orchard quickly um, I believe it's with the doctor over here and see where we can get some instant health because anyways We are here for a reason right so two of them and a bottle of two gets us two instant health health this is improvised medicine so i guess this will help us out throughout the missions if we get attacked by any zombies and i think that will help us get through uh through the missions much more easier um because we did die in this episode and it shows how strong these uh, zombies are in this game so that's pretty cool i like it so far guys if you guys want to see more make sure you guys let me know as well um and i'm just checking around there's coal in here um i guess we can cook something with that some food if you find anything and there's this guy, which I don't know what Aaron's all about, but I guess they're just people that work around here. So that's pretty cool. I like this so far. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button and comment down below about what you guys think about this, this adventure map of Dead World. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's exciting. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dead World. Peace out, guys. My name is Alexton.